ordering grooming tools from Timu worth it? Well, I ordered a pair of scissors and two blades so that you don't have to, and I'm going to go through the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to whether or not you wanna save or splurge with your tools. Let's get into what I ordered, the cost, and then I'll go over how they performed. For the clipper blades, I went with just a generic blade. They did have a brand called KBDS that did have some great reviews, but I figured if I'm going to buy from Timu, I wanted to get the best deal possible. Give me the cheapest blade to test out. So there is no company that I could find that was listed for the blades on either the package themselves, the blades themselves, or anything on the actual Timu listing on the website. So I couldn't tell you who manufactured these. This is the name that they're listed under on Timu though. So it does say 4F, 5F, 7F, Professional Pet Clipper Accessories, A5 Fit Most Oster Clippers. So nothing really notable in the title or the description, but they do have a 4.7 star rating, which is pretty decent. I purchased them with my own money and I did get a 7F and a 3 and 3 quarter F as well. The 7F I bought for 2267 Canadian, which if you are American or from another country <laughs> is a good price. Although they are on sale for 1427 as we speak. Ugh. The 3F was $29.97 Canadian dollars and currently is on sale for $27.29. So I will say this isn't super cheap. A 7F goes for about $30 to $50 depending on the type of blade, where you get them from. So that just gives you a general idea of what it normally costs for a good blade in Canada. Now for the scissors, I opted to go cheap as well. I picked up scissors titled Dog Hair Grooming Scissors Pet Straight Scissors Pet Shears for Dog Hair Cutting. They are currently listed for $10.99 Canadian dollars, which is a very good price. It says that they're regularly $99.43, which seems a little bit outrageous, but who am I to judge? They do have a 4.8 rating, which is pretty high, and they are about 7.7 .7 inches long. They do say they are made of stainless steel, which is promising. They arrived in a standard bubble bag packaging and were just simply in plastic bags inside of that. Neither one actually had a brand name or any marking to tell you what the companies they were made by was called. It took probably about a week and a half or so, maybe a little longer than that, to arrive, so not a huge wait, but it wasn't as quick as Amazon. So, you know, price-wise, it depends on how fast you want things. Overall, my experience with purchasing and shipping was okay, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, let's talk about whether or not these tools actually perform the way they should, or if I just wasted my money. Yikes. So I'll start with the blades. Firstly, they do fit onto my Heinegger clippers and I pulled out some of my old Cordis Andis clippers as well and they do fit nicely on those and they run so they appear to be versatile. So compared to a butter cut, which is a fabulous blade by the way, they look pretty similar in most regards. That's the butter cut. This is the Timu one. So it clips on, universal, which is good. I was a little worried about that. Sometimes with um, blades, they won't fit in certain models. So I was a bit worried I was ordering something that wasn't going to work out, but they do. They run okay. They're not louder or anything than a, a normal run-of-the-mill blade that you could buy at friends or at a grooming supply place. So, so far so good. I tested them out on a couple of dogs to see what they were like on different coat types and uh, different lengths. So the dogs I tried them on, I tried them on a poodle and I tried them on a Yorkie to see if there was any difference. So on the curly coat, I found their performance to be adequate. I wouldn't say I was wowed and it didn't flow as smoothly as some of my better blades, but this might be a good choice for pre-clips. 
When I used them on the straight coat of the Yorkie, I did find slight improvement. It seemed to work much more smoothly as I clipped, very comparative to some of my higher end blades. So I just really want to get them sharpened to see if that would make any difference. Because if it does, I feel feel like potentially this could be a win. These don't necessarily stand out, but they would be a good choice to me for pre-clipping dirty dogs for now until I get them sharpened. So I may update you when that does happen to see if they're any better. The only downside I would say is that on occasion they make a strange noise. Nothing overly alarming, but I will keep my eye on how this progresses over time. Does it get worse? Does it get better? And I'm going to ask the sharpener about that as well. Moving on to the scissors. Obviously, they are the cheapest item that I purchased and I wasn't holding out much hope. Upon feeling them, they did feel decent enough. They appear to be fairly sharp and had a bit of weight behind them. Using them, though, felt a bit stiff. They didn't glide nicely and not quite as smooth as some of my more expensive scissors, but I figured as long as they did cut, this shouldn't be a huge issue. That maybe they just needed to be adjusted slightly. Well, I gave them a go, but unfortunately they didn't cut super nicely. They actually just kind of bent the hair at some points instead of actually cutting it. So sometimes as I was using them, it would cut and then others, it would just kind of bend the hair. So I don't think they're evenly sharpened across the entire edge. That would be my best guess. And they probably could use some adjusting. Now these actually may be a good choice for a pet parent, but as a professional, it just wasn't gonna cut it. No pun intended. So when I get those blades sharpened, I'm gonna send the scissors with them as well because it can't hurt if scissors only cost $10.99. I think to get them sharpened is still worth the money and it just gives them a fair shot. But overall, I would say these are a bit of a fail compared to the blades. But these aren't the only budget items I have taken a look at. Check out this video right here where I go through the best budget blow dryers and personally review each one. Oh, <laughs> oh,